In this video, we'll be demonstrating the hydraulic design of a high flow rate axial pump, including a CFD simulation. First, you create a new project choosing the pump design module. Insert the design point of the pump. The design point is defined by the volume flow rate, head, and rotational speed. The fluid is water at 20 degrees Celsius. On the right side, you'll see the specific speed in the general machine type. Now we add a new component, selecting the axial impeller option. In this example, we use an unshrouded impeller. At first, we adjust the tip clearance. For the blade design, we choose the mainline mode. There's also an airfoil design mode. To calculate the impeller main dimensions, CF Turbo uses empirical correlations. Here we apply the work coefficient to calculate the impeller diameter and a diameter ratio function to get the hub diameter. Additionally, there are empirical functions to estimate the pump efficiency. Now the impeller main dimensions have been computed. On the right side, you see important physical values, a sketch of the meridional section, and the Cordier diagram. In CF Turbo, all parameters can be adjusted manually if required. The meridional view allows the design of the meridional contours of the impeller. All Bezier points can be modified numerically by changing numbers in the pop-up window. The user can adjust axial length of the impeller, as well as shape and position of leading and trailing edges. Now we add hub solids. Here we're choosing a very simple model of the hub contour. There is high flexibility to design hub and shroud geometry if necessary. In the blade properties, at first, we set the number of blades, which is an input value with strong effects on the blade profile geometry. Then a method must be selected to calculate the radial equilibrium from hub to shroud. The meridional and circumferential velocity components can be adjusted to balance pressure and centrifugal forces. In many cases, it is useful to choose the variable load option that enables you to shift the blade loading from hub to shroud. In the next design step, we do the mean line design, which determines the curvature of the blade between leading and trailing edges on every span. Mean lines can be coupled or uncoupled. The curvature and the wrap angle of the blade can be adjusted graphically or numerically. On the right side of the window, we have several diagrams to evaluate geometrical and physical properties like blade angle distribution, area progression, lean angle, and static pressure. Currently, the user can choose between three different design modes for mean line design, conformal mapping, theta over m, blade angle progression, beta over m, and a peripheral projection. In the next version of CF Turbo, which will be released in April of 2020, a fourth method will be implemented, blade loading based mean line design. Now we do the blade profiling. We can choose between linear and freeform distributions. Different possibilities are given to define the blade thickness, as well as symmetric or asymmetric profiles. CF Turbo offers the capability to read in data, for example, NACA profiles. The last design step of the impeller is to create the shape of the leading and trailing edges on different spans. The user can choose between simple different options. Now we can see the impeller in its actual state in our 3D viewer. On the left side of the window, you have the model tree with all components and subcomponents. This allows for easy navigation, renaming, and graphical adjustment. To prepare the CFD setup, First, we add an inlet extension, including a simplified hub nose. For this purpose, we apply the stator module of CF Turbo, which can be used to make veined and unveined turbo machinery components like pipes, nozzles, or guide vanes. High volume flow rate axial pumps of this kind are sensitive to inlet flow conditions. And additionally, the inlet nozzle should have a specific size to prevent an impact from the boundary conditions to the pump stage itself when running a 3D flow simulation. In our example, we want to create a simplified hub nose, which will be placed directly upstream of the impeller. We split the hub curve, change the curve type to Bezier, and create a rounded shape of the hub nose. Now the model will be shown in the 3D viewer again. 
In the same way as on the inlet side, we should add a pipe or a diffuser downstream of the impeller. Here we add an axial stator. Again, the stator should have an appropriate length. Of course, a user can create more complex geometries like guide vanes or bends upstream or downstream of the pump impeller. Just like in the previous design steps, the model can be shown and updated in our 3D viewer. The final design step would be model finishing in CF Turbo, including fillet design. Model finishing means a geometrical operation to create solid models for the fluid domain and for the material domain in excellent quality. Let's save the model before we export the geometry and prepare the simulation. We open the export window. CF Turbo has export formats to all major CFD codes and CAD systems, as well as neutral formats like STEP, STL, or Parasolid. This pump model will be exported to Samaric MP. We have to choose settings for meshing and simulation. For this demo, we intentionally generate a very coarse mesh. We have chosen mesh settings, which will create a mesh of about 1 million nodes only. It will become a hexahedral binary tree mesh. In the solver settings, we must define the number of iterations or time steps, and we have to choose between steady state or transient simulation and select a differencing scheme. To export the model to Sumerix MP, STL files are generated. Then the computational model will be exported, including boundary conditions. The user has the option just to export mesh and solver settings, or as it is shown here, it starts the meshing process and the CFD software directly. By choosing this option, Sumerix MP will be launched and the meshing process will be started. Sumerix MP is an affordable, fast, and robust general-purpose 3D Navier-Stokes solver. CFD simulations with Sumerix MP provide realistic results that compare accurately with multiple field tests on various types of rotating machinery like pumps, blowers, compressors, and turbines. Compared to others, the Sumerix MP CFD solver is extremely fast. Steady state and even transient flow simulations can be run productively on a powerful notebook or workstation. To simulate single stage turbo machinery CFD simulations, we recommend mesh sizes from 2 to 12 million nodes, depending on the number of blades, the number of adjacent components, and the complexity of the secondary flow path. For larger models that require a higher number of grid points, such as for multi stage machines, there are options for distributed parallel computing available. Now the model is ready for simulation. All boundary conditions are set for the design point. We deactivate the cavitation module for the initial run. Later, the cavitation module can be activated. The new project file will be saved before the simulation starts. Besides residuals, we can observe the flow field in real time. We can start dynamic streamlines or particles, show isoservices, or critical physical values of the flow field on all surfaces or on sections. Additionally, we're able to monitor physical properties and integral values like total pressure of impeller or stage, hydraulic efficiency of impeller or stage, shaft power, and torque. All results can be exported to Excel or other formats for further post-processing. In addition to starting the simulation manually as it is shown here, batch mode runs can be prepared to run performance curves or maps. In the upcoming version of CF Turbo, which is planned for 2020, there will be a possibility to define all operating points and boundary conditions with the GUI. This steady state simulation on a 1 million nodes mesh takes about 10 minutes on a laptop with an Intel i7 processor. Here we can observe in real time how fast this simulation converges for the steady state setup on a notebook laptop. We always recommend doing transient flow simulation to get a higher level of accuracy in your performance and efficiency predictions. For example, a transient simulation with the same 1 million nodes mesh running four revolutions of the impeller would take less than one hour on the same machine. As mentioned before, finer grids may be required when it comes to real-life product development and simulation. 
According to our experience, mesh sizes range from 2 to 12 million nodes for single-stage turbo machinery applications. 3D CFD simulations should always be done to evaluate newly designed turbo machinery components. In case design adjustments are necessary, after evaluating the simulation results, you can go back to CF Turbo and modify the pump interactively. In recent years, it has become more and more affordable to combine turbo machinery design software and CFD codes with optimization algorithms due to lower computational cost. Here's a picture of the axial pump we just created. The geometry can be exported to any 3D CAD system, CFD FEA code, or optimization software. An integration into ANSYS Workbench is available. As you've seen, CF Turbo is a user-friendly, straightforward solution for axial pump design and 3D CFD simulation. To register for a free trial and to learn more about our engineering services, visit cfturbo.com.